Who is it? Just... Holy Ghost power. Hey. I like this guy. He's like the Holy Ghost power. I like that. Come on. Come on. Y'all are awesome. If y'all want to grab a seat, now is a good time. Um, that's because we're going to sit too. So. Thank you for being here. Uh, also, you guys are in for a treat. Has anyone seen New Song play before? Come on. Anytime that we get to share the stage with those guys is a treat for us. Uh, we've done Winter Jam several times with New Song, and they're like family now, so uh, really, really in for a treat tonight with those guys. Um, if it's cool with you, we're just gonna switch gears, slow things down a little bit, somewhat so that I can catch my breath. Um, but this next song means a lot to me. It's a song I wrote a week after my grandfather went to be with Jesus. And, and I'm not here to tell you a sad story tonight. I don't want your sympathy. I'm here because I believe that God gave me revelation of something. And I would love to share it with you tonight. And uh, John, may I sit next to you? Cool. We never sit this close together during the song. <laughs> <laughs> so, first, uh, first Thessalonians 4.13 says, Don't be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as those who have no hope. I'll break it down in English. Don't get it confused. We don't have to sorrow like the rest of the world sorrows. Why? Because we have hope. And hope has a name. And that name is Jesus. Yeah. Just in case you don't know, Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. And he died for every person in this room. And every single person not in this room. No exceptions. But that's not even the crazy part. Because three days later, Jesus rose again. And he defeated death once and for all. You don't get excited about anything else tonight. That's it. I know I mentioned this earlier. We obviously love to have a good time. We like to blow things up on stage. Headbang a little bit, you know. But I wouldn't be here. That's all there was. If you're in there, if you're in the room tonight and, and you don't know Jesus, it's okay. I'm not here to shame you. I'm glad that you're here tonight. In fact, I'm not even going to try to change your mind. I don't think that's my job. I think that's Holy Spirit's job. But one thing I would say to you Man, I don't know how you do it. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Jesus. In fact, this has been a crazy three years. I think I would have given up on hope a long time ago if it wasn't for Jesus. I think there are benefits to being a believer. And I think one of those benefits is that we get to see our loved ones again. Can I ask you to be vulnerable with me tonight? If you're walking through a season of grief or loss, maybe someone you knew or loved passed on to be with Jesus recently, or maybe it was, maybe it was 20 years ago. Can you just lift up your hand? I just want to pray over you tonight. Let's pray together. God, thank you so much for tonight. God, selfishly, thank you for allowing my family to be here. It's so cool. But God, we thank you that we get to join together and unite under one purpose tonight, and that is you. Thank you for Jesus. And for the victory 
that that means for all of us. God, I pray for the people in the room tonight who are hurting, who are broken. Some of us might have questions. God, we seek you, the author and the finisher of our faith. We seek you. And God, I just, I boldly ask you tonight for supernatural peace. Peace that surpasses understanding. It's the kind of peace that you get even when it doesn't make sense. And God, I also ask you for joy in the room tonight. So much joy that we don't know what to do with it. <laughs> God, again, we love you. We thank you for Jesus. And God, I also just thank you that we don't have to fight to a place of victory. That's not what we're after. But God, rather, we get to fight from victory. You've already won the battle. We get to rest in that. Wow. We ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you were one of those who lifted up your hands, uh, this next song is for you. It's called Not Goodbye. One more day is never enough. i uh -huh. 
Goodbye. Goodbye.